it's blooming marvellous in Yokohama. It's sunny, it's warm, there might be a bit of wind about, but we're going to get the men's season underway. Let's have a look at the start list. Wearing one, Dorian Koenigs, Helen, even though he's world champ, He's not absolutely guaranteed to be in Paris. No, he has to get a top six today to confirm that spot. But it's really exciting to see him race. It's his first race since he became world champion at the end of last year. But then wearing number two, we've got Leo Bouger. He's the world champion from two years ago, and he has not confirmed his place in Paris. So he really needs to perform over the next few races to show those selectors he should be the one going. He's got a couple of other big names as well. What about Christian Blumenfeld? We know his motto, go big or go home. So it'll be fascinating to watch him. And elsewhere, Vincent Luis still has a chance of getting to the Olympics on home soil. It looks like an incredibly tough race to try and predict a winner. So without further ado, let's see what happened. So away they go, 60 men in a stellar field. They've got the likes of Blumenfeld and Brownlee and many others. No surprise to see Mark Devey out front. He so often leads these events, and Vincent Luis is also in a promising position. Great to see him back after all the injury issues he suffered. Doesn't look to be too much separation early on. Always a question of how many men are going to get away on the bike, and there might be quite a few, but it will be the Hungarian who leads out of the water with Vincent Luis hot on his tail. Schomburg also is right there. But look how many men are coming into T1. The lasts are going well. These men on your screen, about 40 seconds back, they're going to have a struggle. No surprise, there is a large leading group, and the chasers are going to catch on. We're going to have about 50 men here with virtually all the big names involved. It looked tough to try and find a winner at the start. Now it looks nigh on impossible. One lap to go. Brownlee's there, Blumenfeld's there, the Olympic champion. They take the bell. Look at the big names. Hauser, Velasa, Koenig's the world champion. But when there are so many men on such a narrow rows at times, full concentration required. That getting into the right position to come into T2 as they go round this bend. And we've got a problem. There's a pile up here. Richard's come down. Konix has come down. The lats are in trouble as well. So now about 45 of them going to get off the bikes and into T2. And it's going to be a straight shootout over 10,000 metres. Schomburger started well with Dar Smith. And Storn is also prominent in behind the Norwegian. Well, Luke William, what a statement of intent. He knows a top eight. Is going to get into the Olympics. What about a medal to do it in style? Pearson has bided his time and he's got to the front and he and William have serious daylight now. Although there are runners shifting from behind. Hidalgo in particular. Luis is still there with Nena. Also Hauser is moving. Still tough to predict all the medals. Pearson has daylight. Suddenly he's opened up a gap on Luke William who's just struggling a little bit. Well, no one is going to catch Morgan Pearson today. He's going to come and win his first ever World Triathlon Championship Series event at the age of 30. Hauser, who came on really strong on that final lap, will claim the silver. And his roommate, Luke Willian, is going to get his first medal at this level and earn a place to the Olympic Games into the bargain. And here we are with the results. So Morgan Pearson getting his first ever World Series. Matt Hauser and Luke Willian, two Aussies on the podium. Luke Willian taking that important box, the top eight. And we'll be going to Paris. Leo Bouger coming in fourth and some really strong names there in the top 10. Hit Miguel Hidalgo with an incredible run to get himself into the top 10. Just looking further down then for top 20. Uh, Surat Tirani had a great run to get in there. Song Lehman did well. Yeah, the games did fade slightly, but a solid result there for 15. Uh, Pazzati as well from Italy. We've got all nations there kind of making our top 20. And Martin Sobi being the Canadian getting into that top 20. Morgan, well done. I guess you always had belief you could win one of these things. Yeah. Um, yeah, I knew I could win one, but these guys are beasts and they're training, they're training just as hard as me and everyone wants to win. So you could, you could be in the shape of your life and 
uh, something can still go wrong and, or someone's fitter. So you just got to show up to the race and give it your best. And today, my best was able to win. There were some people that gave you a bit of stick when you decided not to go to Abu Dhabi. I know it didn't happen, yeah. but you didn't know that. You went to the national champs. I guess you knew what you were doing all along, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, so last year I was having some, some major back problems. Uh, you might have noticed a lot of the races I pulled up, stretching and that type of thing, uh, uh, specifically the grand final and that. So I went to Miami because it was Olympic distance, and Abu Dhabi was sprint, and I wanted to test out my, my health. Um, I already qualified for Paris, so... Uh, you know, I, I, I felt that was more necessary. And talking of Paris, this isn't a bad way to kind of get into the zone before France, is it? Uh, no, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice way to start the season. Of course, we all know who's missing from this race. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, it's a nice way to start, but I know it's not, you know, it's, it's still a long way to go to Paris. All you can do is beat those who turn up. Well done today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks Morgan. Thank you, mate. You're uh, getting to be one of the most consistent performers on the circuit. You must be really pleased with that, mate. Yeah, really proud of myself um, over the last couple of years. Uh, you know, coming up from juniors under 23 is a really struggle with consistency to start off with my elite campaign. And um, yeah, it's just great to have these results and give credit to all my support team, my family and my girlfriend back home. Unfortunately, didn't get involved in that bike incident. Did, did you see what happened? I just heard a lot of noise around me and I was like, thank goodness I'm, I'm up the front. And I made a point of uh, staying up the front towards the back end and it really paid off. But I am really, really hope that everyone's okay from the bike crash. As we were saying in commentary, when there's such a large group of men, 50 odd men, yeah. it's always the chance something like that could happen. And there's so much on the line, so much at stake. Like, you know, Olympic spots are on the line, people's dreams are on the line. And it's, we, we give everything for the sport. And, you know, it's tough when things like that happen. But, you know, the days like this for me just make it all worthwhile. And can I say... My mate Luke, I've been, I was going to ask you. I'm my, my roommate for so many years on the WTCS circuit, and he deserves it more than anyone to, to book a spot for Paris. And yeah, can't believe it. I'll... You'll both be there. Well done today. Thanks very much, Matt. What a day. What a day. So you are booked for Paris. How does that feel? Yeah, um, I'm a bit speechless right now. Like, I missed out last time. I was so, so close. Um, you know, missed out on discretionary selection. So. Um, this whole journey has been all about, you know, taking my opportunities and, you know, creating my own destiny. And, you know, to do that today, selection on the line, yeah, it's pretty special. You knew top eight was pretty much guaranteed the last lap, but when two guys went past you and you knew there were guys coming from behind, was there any concern you might not get that bronze? Um, well, it was quite stressful the whole race, to be honest. Like, the last lap of the bike big, got caught up in a big crash and rode over, back over with a few other, of the other boys and, like, had to go dig really deep to get back. You know, and then I'm just like, okay, let's take it out and see how we go. And, ha um, you know, the legs started cramping that last lap. And I'm just like, I've oh, just got to hang on, you know. Like, I really wanted that podium, you know. Like, I didn't want to just qualify. I want to, you know, I want to compete. I want to strive for the best. And, you know, <laughs> pretty special that the other, I was the only guy in front of me is my roommate. Yeah, it's pretty special. Well, you sent a message out today, you can compete. Well done, Luke. Cheers, appreciate it. Thanks very much. First time on a World Triathlon Championship Series podium. And he's in a rich vein of form, having won in uh, Wollongong recently in the World Cup there. That was on home soil. This is at a higher level. Some way from home. That's a great effort from William. Just never seems to run a bad race these days, does he, Matt Hauser? Yet another medal for the collection. Yeah, second time in a row, second in Yokohama. He obviously likes it here. And coming in at first place and winning the gold medal, your 2024 World Triathlon Championship Series Yokohama champion from the United States, Morgan Pearson. I'm determined to enjoy it, more shouldn't he? I'm trying to think of the last US man to win one of these things, and I'm. Uh, Jared Schumacher? It might be all the way back. He won in Hamburg, didn't he? A long time ago. Yeah. I've probably missed someone now and I'm going to feel really bad. They'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll let you know. Yeah. Apologies <laughs> if I missed. That's the one I remember. See photo session. Obviously fewer events left in the series because of the unfortunate cancellation of uh, Abu Dhabi. Three, two, one. Pop it. Come on! <laughs> A bit slow off the mark there, Morgan. A bit slow off the mark. <laughs> Not so slow at all on the course, though.
Abu Dhabi unfortunately didn't happen, but Yokohama you've just seen was great. Calgary were back in a couple of weeks. Then Hamburg, a regular stop. The Olympics in July. And two after that, way high in China and the grand final in Spain, that's in October. Well, after starting a little later than the uh, scheduled time for the season, hope you've enjoyed the day. Can't see that you have a tremendous excitement in the uh, both the women's and the men's race. But it's time to bid you farewell from Yokohama. But however, we'll be back within two weeks in Sardinia in Cagliari for another Olympic distance race. But before then, Enjoy all the highlights that you can find. And from myself, Trevor Harris, and Jenkins, our whole cast and crew and production people here in Yokohama and beyond. Thanks for watching and bye for now.